One of the best things about Evernote is that you can set it up and set the structure any way you want. One of the most frustrating parts of Evernote is that you can set it up and set the structure any way you want. I'm going to give you some ideas on how you may want to structure your setup. But if you're like me, you'll start with the basic setup and that will evolve over time. That's okay, but let's get you started. Keep in mind that there is no wrong way to do it. And you can't lose anything no matter where you put it in Evernote. And that's because the program has a very powerful search engine and it will help you find any note or PDF or picture that you put inside. But a structure is going to make it easier. But let's begin with notebooks. Okay, you've probably used those old fashioned notebooks. You know, they have, they have rings on the side or clips. Um, others might have tabs or sections. But, you know, notebooks are where you can organize a, a large amount and different types of notes. Well, the same thing applies to Evernote. Keep thinking about using your Evernote notebooks the same way you think of that old paper notebook. You put related notes and items into a notebook. My recommendation is that you create notebooks around the big parts of your life, your big projects in your life. Something like personal, work, hobby, travel, I don't know, maybe even legal documents. So let's begin. Let me show you how to create a new notebook. We are in my demo account. For now, I'd like you to pretty much ignore most of the real estate here uh, because we're going to concentrate on, on this little segment right here, notebooks. Now, you can create up to 250 notebooks in a free account or if you have a personal or professional account, I believe the number is up to a thousand uh, notebooks. If you have a Teams account, you can share up to, are you ready for this, 10,000 notebooks. Maybe if you're you know, in, in a big law firm or an architectural firm and you have a lot of different clients, that might make sense, but uh, clearly most people are not gonna come anywhere close to that. And I would argue if you have that many notebooks, you're gonna have a difficult time uh, finding them and keeping track of them. But all right, so um, uh, as you can see, I have a number of notebooks set up. And but for now, let me just show you how you can um, add a notebook. First of all, if you just go up to notebooks here, you'll see a little plus sign. And uh, that will be where you add a new notebook. Or you can simply come down to where this green section is highlighted and you can type in a, a notebook name. So uh, let's say I want to uh, call a notebook research. So now I have uh, created uh, that notebook. And as you can see, research appears here. And uh, I can start going ahead and putting uh, notes in here. Now, you can also build stacks within notebooks. So think back to my um, analogy with the three ring binders. Rather than putting just a lot of random papers into a single notebook, you might want to have tabs to separate different sections. So, you know, if I just had a notebook and I just had a whole bunch of notes in here, that might get a little bit cumbersome, just as it would be if you had a three ring binder and you just put random sheets of paper in there. Even if you tried to alphabetize them, it would be kind of a nightmare to do it. So Evernote has a system of called stacked notebooks. Let's say you have a notebook um, uh, on major household appliances. You might have one section related to your, uh, your heating and furnace. Uh, you go to that and you might find the owner's manual for your furnace, the original receipt and a, a record of your maintenance. Well, the same thing applies to your Evernote notebook. So let's create some stacks here. So it, I, I can give you a good example. Um, if you see my notebook called Clients, now I have a, a consulting practice, as you know, and uh, each one of my clients uh, gets their own notebook. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm going to uh, just vaguely call them client A, B, and C. So within the parent notebook of clients, if I click here, I will see all of my client names. And if I click on them, then I go to that folder for that client, in this case, client meeting notes. Now, how do I get uh, into a stack? Very simple. Let's close this off here. Then what I like to do is click on the notebook screen like this. 
just by clicking the name Notebooks, you get to this screen and it very clearly shows you uh, the, the names of your different notebooks that you've already established. And here you can create a new notebook uh, right over here by just clicking uh, this button. So let's create, uh, let's create something here. Let's uh, create a notebook for one of my clients. So this is going to be um, Mouse Mickey. He's a great client. I created a notebook, as you can see. Here it is. But what I really want to do is I really want to get the Mickey Mouse notebook into the client stack. All I do is I come over to Mickey Mouse. I can't believe I use that as an example. I click to More Actions and then Add to Stack and it will give me a list of the stackable notebooks that I've created. In this case, Clients and now Mickey's notebook has disappeared here, but it is now underneath my client stack. 